What's up everyone, Ian here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna go over something that's super common, common question we get. What is a rib flare? Does it matter? How do you address it? So first and foremost, what is it? It's an external rotation of the rib or it's just popped open. You can think about it as getting your hand under there. The rib cage is meant to be dynamic. That means when we exhale, it should be able to close. When we inhale, it should be able to open. And when I say open and close, this angle, the infrasternal angle should get smaller on exhales, bigger on inhales. So a rib flare has a trouble closing. So if that rib's popped open like this, you can get your hands under it. You're probably having a hard time exhaling. Now, what are some of the things that are factors in that? Well, if we use our six pack to exhale, think your six pack right here, it can easily just pull down and kind of fake that motion of the infrasternal angle changing. When we use our obliques, those muscles that wrap across here, we can actually get that full internal rotation and closing of the ribs. One of the things that's very important to understand about your breathing is your breathing will follow the path of least resistance. And when we have a rib flare that's popped open like this, that's a very easy path to go to. So what happens is oftentimes our breath will just pop out the front left and that can even arch the left side of your lower back. So you can get a lot of compression or kind of feeling crappy back here and we're never really able to stabilize and own that left oblique. So that's something that's gonna be super common is that left side flaring open. It's totally possible to have both of them. How would we address it? Well, it's really specific to everybody, but a great way to start is very simple. Fully exhale, fully inhale. Adding an exhale and pausing is a great way to do it because you're essentially getting out of that rib flare and just learning how to stay there. And then on your next inhale, it should be more of a controlled inhale versus a, and where it just pops straight open and you arch your lower back. So that's a good place to start. Another thing that you can do even more specific is whatever side you're having that rib flare on, do a lot of side planks on that side. If that left rib is flared, I get on my left side, I push the ground away, I exhale and I come away from the ground. You're essentially loading up the muscles that hold that rib in and that's what we want. So those are two easy ways. Learn how to inhale and exhale fully with a pause, just face up in a plank, wherever you want. If you wanna get more specific, figure out which side you're flared on, do a side plank on that side. Three sets of 10 breaths even is a great start. If you have any questions about this, let me know because we're definitely gonna build on this series. Make sure that you're subscribing to the channel and feel free to comment anything below so that we can hear from you.